We all know that our new tax relief is a generous scheme whereby HMRC reward companies for investing in research and development. But what are the benefits of claiming R&D tax relief? Well, stick around and find out. Let's go! Hi, I'm Tessin, the founder of GrowthPad, and welcome to the R&D Tax Show, where we help accountants, tax advisors, and their clients claim R&D tax relief. So in this week's episode, we're going to discuss what are the actual benefits of claiming R&D tax relief? There are two benefits to claiming R&D tax relief. The first is increasing your tax deductibles. And the second is increasing your tax losses. The main effect of making an R&D tax claim is to increase your expenses. As your expenses increases, your profits decrease and therefore there is a reduction in your corporation tax bill. Let's say we identify R&D costs of £100,000. Let's work with easy numbers. This is uplifted by 130% and therefore an R&D cost of £130,000 is included in the tax computation. As the corporation tax rate is 19% and the R&D tax costs are £130,000, this results in a corporation tax reduction of £24,700. The client therefore saves £24,700. This means approximately 25% of cost for developing services, products, software and machinery can be recouped using R&D tax relief. So the second benefit of making an R&D tax claim is increasing your tax losses. So how can you use these tax losses? Well, there are five options. The first is using the loss against other income and gains in the year. The second is carrying back the loss to the previous year. The third is carrying the loss forward and using against future profits. And the fourth is group relief where you transfer the loss to other group members. And the fifth, which is unique to R&D tax relief, is to surrender your R&D tax losses for cash credits from HMRC. You can use a combination of the five options. So for example, you can use any losses against any other income and gains in the year. And the balance of the losses, you can then surrender for R&D tax credits. Each claimant has its own objectives. So it is up to you to decide which option to take that will help them reach their goals. Let's work through a couple of scenarios to illustrate the benefits of R&D tax relief. In scenario one, a company which is profitable has R&D tax costs of £350,000. The £350,000 of qualifying cost is multiplied by the enhanced rate of 130%, which equals £455,000. This £455,000 is multiplied by the corporation tax rate of 19% to result in a corporation tax saving of £86,450. Scenario 2. A loss-making company spent £200,000 on qualifying R&D costs. This is uplifted by 130% and £260,000 is included in the tax computation. The company has a trading loss of £506,000. So how can this be utilised for losses? The £506,000 can be used against current year income and gains. It can be carried back to the previous 12 months. It can be carried forward against future profits. Or it can be used under group relief. This option will result in a tax saving of £96,100 and 40 pounds of which 49,400 pound is a result of the R&D tax claim. Alternatively, the loss can be surrendered for R&D tax credits as follows. The maximum amount that can be surrendered is the lower of the trading loss, which is 506,000 pounds or 230% of the R&D tax cost, which is 460,000 pounds. In this case, it will be £460,000 that is surrendered. The surrender is at 
This will result in an R&D tax credit of £66,700. The balance of the loss of £46,000, which is £506,000 less £460,000, can be utilised using the other options as mentioned before. If you found today's episode valuable, please like. If you've got any questions, just send me a direct message on LinkedIn. Take care. Bye.